This is Leucodendron jester or Safari sunshine, sunshine cone bush, and it is a uh, very popular plant these days. This is at a nursery in Santa Barbara in um, in the spring, and you can see what it's known for. It has this intense red, pinkish red bract around the uh, flower and cone. I'm going to get in here tight. See that little cone in there? That's from the last blossom cycle. Do you also see how on the side of it you're getting three to four new shoots coming up around the side? And that's how these things grow. Just a little detail on maintenance. If you prune them to get them to fill in more, you're going to, each place that you cut, you're going to get anywhere from three to five or six. Um, divisions so then as you see at the top of these branches you see how full that is so that's one of the uh, strategies to get the plant to fill in look at this variegated leaf the pink variegation on the outer margin this is really something special about this plant so notice that it's actually yellow here and then it tapers into pink on the edges so what I find is that the more temperature range and stress there is um, on the plant that the more color you seem to get. Now most of the ones you're seeing here are near the coast. They're in um, the larger one that you see there is at UC uh, Santa Cruz Botanical Gardens. So the full size one which by the way size wise that thing is six to seven feet tall. Other places are listing it at four to five at maturity but that mature one there was six to seven feet tall and only about four feet wide. Um, so again the the foliage is really the show here and then the bright color for the bract uh, at, the t at the top of the um, branches. And um, leucodendrons are an interesting family. That's really uh, what they're known for is the bract and the new foliage. At, I'm sorry, the foliage at the terminal tips where you get the color. And this one has the added benefit of the variegated foliage. So where I use this in design is I would use this more as a specimen shrub. Um, and I kind of have a classification for that where I feel like it's a big enough plant to stand on its own and, and hold a place in a garden, maybe in the background or in a corner, where um, it has enough going on most of the year that it can hold that position and be a point of interest somewhere in the garden. This is standing out in a field because it's a botanical garden, but if you were using it in a residential landscape, um, or in a commercial project, I would use it more, as I mentioned, as kind of a specimen shrub. These need ver very little care once they're established. I do think it's a good idea, and I've read that um, the pruning will tighten them up, and I'd say that that's true from what I've witnessed. Other varieties of leucodendron that look their best have definitely had some pruning to tighten them up. can also be use, uh, use them as the foliage I'm sorry for cut flowers or foliage and arrangements um, for obvious reasons. So uh, one of the things to know about leucodendron family, uh, they're very deer resistant. Um, I have these, <coughs> use this in uh, Pacific Grove in a heavy deer area and also they're very drought resistant once they're established. Uh, book on them also says that they like acid soils, uh, fairly acidic, you know, down around 5 pH. Uh, cold tolerance, they are uh, to somewhere in the 20s Fahrenheit, so 20 to 25 degrees typically uh, seems to be the range for most of the leucodendron family. And I think that's what I can tell you about leucodendron. Oh, they are very phosphorus sensitive. Do not hit these with an all-purpose fertilizer. It's a good way to kill them, and that's true for leucodendrons in general. Also, these are heat tolerant. Uh, I've seen these used where I live. I live in a hot inland valley in Northern California where it gets 90 to 100 degrees during the summer and these have handled that fine. The book on them says that they prefer a, 
warmer days and cooler nights like you get in the coastal California types of areas but uh, again they seem to perform okay here and they're on the range of their cold tolerance here by the way we get into the 20s during most winters and uh, I have seen one or two um, year to two year old plants here so it's a newer introduction in this area and just starting to be used that way also I did see this in a pot so I'd say look at this in terms of uh, potentially using it in a large pot saw that done in Santa Barbara in a uh, strip mall and it looked really good so that is leucodendron jester or safari sunshine sunshine cone bush by the way the book on these is that their best color is from winter and through through spring uh, most of these photos you see here were taken in spring so we know that's a good bloom time or color time but also I've seen the different um, leucodendrons in full color not this one specifically in late summer in our area in northern California so you may get color at that time as well to follow are some nice companion plants for leucodendron jester enjoy <music>